The launch of the contract monitoring system follows the public outcry about the mismanagement of government projects despite the huge amount spent in their implementation. The contract managing system has been put in place by government and civil society organizations to monitor contracts. Still through GIZ support, we have distributed a hundred smartphones to the CSOs which they have also distributed and installed the system on those smartphones and we can on real time get feedback from a village in Wundwujo of shoddy work that has been witnessed by these very monitors and then see how to take it on. Public Procurement and Disposal of Assets Authority has partnered with 12 civil society organizations for the authority to get timely information of stalling government programs. So these ones we have agreed to work together and we are also aware that they have what they call village monitors. We have trained these CSOs and we are going to continue training them on what to look out for in terms of contract monitoring. The village monitors are also going to be skilled to, to get information or to capture information on the system, on how to capture information. Julius Ishungusa urged civil society organizations to be objective while executing their roles as monitors. Julius warned civil society organizations against being compromised and asked accounting officers to be patient in the early days of implementation. That the whole of Uganda will be monitored at the same time. This is very, very, very significant as it is contrary to monitoring being done by PPDA only, where it could even take several months before covering the whole country. This time we shall be doing everything at the same time. So by adopting this, we shall have great improvement in the monitoring system. Representing the Minister of Finance, Jennifer Mohorizi Vigirwa, expressed the need of enhanced stakeholder involvement in contract monitoring to create a win-win situation for all. Considering the magnitude of project implementation and other requirements by different government agencies, the responsibility of monitoring to ascertain quality cannot and should not be a secluded area. All citizens should be interested after all, it is in their interest as beneficiaries that projects are completed and services are delivered on time. Sudat Kaye, UBC News.